Hey hi everyone, in this particular video we are going to learn about that how we can connect the MongoDB compass with MongoDB shell, right? So for that purpose, first of all you need to install or download the MongoDB compass in your system. How we can do that? Well for that purpose, let's open our browser and here we need to search MongoDB compass download. Just press enter. And here you will land to this page, right? You need to come on the first site. MongoDB Compass provides you the graphical user interface, right? So whatever you are doing with your database, this MongoDB Compass will help you to see the data, to work with that data, to edit, insert and everything, right? So here you can see MongoDB Compass download. Simply just go down and click on this download button. Make sure that you select the right platform. Right, the stable version is already given here, and the package will be in the exe. It will come in the compressed form. Just extract all the files. Right, so yes, you need to just download it, and after that, it will be perfect. Now, moving forward towards how dealing with the MongoDB shell, let me just open the MongoDB shell for you. So, you need to come to your file explorer and uh, let's come to the Mongo shell folder or you can search it manually but I am showing you with the help of the complete directory uh, just open the bin and here you can see the mongo share right just double click on it and the shell of the mongodb shell basically terminal will get open you can see please enter a mongodb connection string the default string is already given which is 27017 right so just you can need to press enter if you press enter it will directly connect you with this particular connection uh, port, right? Which is 27017, right? So this is now your system is connected. How to work with the MongoDB shell? Well, for the, uh, sorry, MongoDB compass, you just need to open the MongoDB compass now, right? When you open it, you will see this kind of interface. Here, if you are the first user, uh, you need to click on this add new connection. Just simply click on it. After clicking, you can see, here also the default is given. In case if you want something else, like let's say that you want on the port number 5000, you can write it here and just copy it. And after that, the way you just entered here, right? So rather than entering, just write the 5000 there or uh, manually write this, this MongoDB slash localhost slash 5000. Got it? So now, since we have connected with the 27017 and here the default, uh, connection URI is also 27017 you just need to click on this connect nothing else it is very simple just go there and find it just save and connect and here you can see we are getting three different databases. one is admin config and the local uh, basically it is the default databases which is already provided by the mongodb right there's nothing inside of it but uh, you will see it right you will see it like you can see this is the in the local the startup log is the collection and here we are having this data now if i go here also and if i write show dbs and press enter you can see i am getting admin config and local three different right so this is how we connect our mongodb compass with the mongodb shell and whatever we do whatever we perform with our database you can simply check it edit it insert it anything which you want easily right with this compass like if i want to edit it i simply need to just go on it and press on this edit button and whichever thing like Piyush gupta if i want i just need to just remove put a gap click on this update and it's updated now now if you search this data on the mongodb shell it will be shown like this right that underscore will be removed so you can do it manually from here and there's a lot more things you can do with the compass with the uh, process of the lectures in the upcoming part i will explain you everything that how we work with it but till now this is the way how we connect our mongodb compass with our mongodb shell this is all about today's video thank you so much for watching goodbye